Hello and welcome to Swarko Gaming and another painting tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how to paint the Skitari. Uh, this is, particular one is a Vanguard and I'll be showing you how to paint it in the, the Mars colours. So here we have the assembled Skitari Vanguard and I've painted it black as the majority of the miniature will be quite dark colours anyway. Um, the first step that we're going to be using now is a lead belcher. Um, we're going to be painting this over all of the metal areas. Uh, it's not too uh, problematic if you get it if you overlap other areas at this point as we'll be covering them at a later stage. Once all of the metal areas have been painted we're now going to be washing them with Agrax Earthshade. So once the wash has dried, you should have this oily metal effect. Now we're going to be dry brushing over all this with Runefang Steel. We will now be moving on to the bronze areas of the miniatures and for this we'll be base coating with Warplock Bronze. Now these do vary from miniature to miniature but mostly you'll find that the the kind of the ridge on the top of the helmet there, uh, the weapon stock, most of it, uh, this kind of ammunition uh, kind of cartridge at the bottom as well and usually at the knees and the belts as well. Uh, it is advised to just kind of take a look at some like the Skatari uh, pictures on uh, the Games Workshop website just to kind of see exactly which areas you need to paint with the bronze. The next step of painting the brass areas is to go over with Brass Scorpion. Now you want to keep the Warplock Bronze showing through the recesses. The next step is to wash the brass areas with Agrax Earthshade. I will now be highlighting the brass areas with Runefang Steel. We will now be moving on to the pressure suit, which is just on the trousers here. Uh, for this we'll be base coating it with a bad and black. It should already be black, but due to the kind of dry brushing that we did for the silver layers, it's probably uh, got a little flecks of silver in there. You should probably also take this opportunity to paint the, uh, the kind of the Mechanicum crest on the chest with the black as well. And also the areas, um, the leather areas on the backpack as well. It should be painted black. Uh, it, just give, it just allows the, the next kind of leather coating to cover better. Um, if you've got over kind of painted onto these uh, pipes and things as well. It's also a good idea to just kind of bring them back to uh, a black layer just to make it easy to paint over at future stages. So now that a few of the areas have been returned back to their original black base coat, I'll be now be painting a highlight of Dark Reaper onto the pressure suit and also some of the pipes on the miniature as well. I will now be base coating the leather backpack and also the weapon stock with Rhinox Hide.
I will now be washing the gunstock and also the leather on the backpack with Agrax Earthshade. Once the wash has dried you can now highlight the edges of the weapon stock and also the leather pack uh, with Mournfang Brown. The final step for both the gun stock and the leather backpack is to apply a very thin highlight of Scrag Brown. Now we want to do this on the mainly the corners and the upper edges as well as this is quite a much brighter colour than what we've already got there. We'll now be painting the inside of the robes and for this we'll be using Rakoth Flesh and uh, the reason why I haven't glued this actually down to a base yet is so I can just take it off the blue tack here and I can get into all the kind of areas that I need to paint uh, no problems. If the base was here it would be quite difficult to paint these areas so this is why I haven't yet glued to the base. Once the first layer has dried, I'll now be layering the inside of the robes with Ushabti Bone. The final step for painting the robes is to apply a thin highlight of Pallid Witch Flesh along the inside edge of the robes. We'll now be base coating the majority of the miniature, with, which is the robes, with Mephiston Red. Once the base layer has been applied, I'll now be washing the robes with a thin layer of Karaberg Crimson. We are now going to be applying a layer of Evil Sun Scarlet to the raised areas of the robes. I will now be highlighting the edges of the robe with Wild Rider Red. The final step for painting the robes is to apply a very thin line of towel light ochre and we'll be doing this to the upper edges such as these on the sleeves and also the corners as well. I will now be painting the blue areas of the miniature such as the, the vents on the weapon and also the kind of lenses that are dotted about the miniature. And for this I'll be using Calador Sky. The next step is to paint over the blue areas with Baharoth Blue. The 
final step for the blue areas is to include a small line or dot of ceramide white. For the parchments on the purity seals, just as we've got here, um, we're base coating these with Steel Legion Drab. The next step is to wash the parchment with Seraphim Sepia. Once the wash is dried, we'll now be applying a highlight to the parchment with Bane Blade Brown. For the wax of the Purity Seals, we'll now be base coating those with Screamer Pink. I will now be washing the wax seals with Drucci Violet. The final step to painting the wax seals is to apply a highlight of Pink Horror. The next step is to paint on some text onto the, the parchment, and for this I'll be using a very thin down Abaddon Black. The next paint that we'll be using is Celestra Grey, and for this we'll be using it on the areas we'll be painting white and yellow in the next phases. For example, we've got the, the crest on the, the ch on the chest there, and we'll also be painting like a chevron pattern onto the pipes, such as this one here, and this one at the side there as well. We will now be using Uriel Yellow to paint the chevrons on the pipe, such as this one here. The final step is to paint the areas of the crest that we've painted with Celestial Grey with Ceramite White. And here we have the completed miniature. Now, while this tutorial did focus on the, the Scutari Vanguard, uh, the same tutorial could be followed for the Rangers, just to make sure you paint the hood the same way we did the robes. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, let me know in the comments, and also leave me, um, if there's any suggestions of which miniatures from 40k you would like to see me paint next, uh, leave them below and I'll uh, make, do my best to paint them. Also, be sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with any uh, of our latest uh, painting tutorials. Um, and also check us out at talkallgaming.com as well. As always, thanks for watching and goodbye.